Hey guys. Uh, so, in another video, I explain why for most big combat ships in space engineers, you will want to have more upward thrusters compared to other directional thrusters. And in that video, I explained that the reason is it's easier for most big ships to do tactical combat maneuvers when they have more upward thrusters compared to other directional thrusters. And I kinda showed the maneuvers in that video and in my other videos and live streams but I never really explain in detail how to do this maneuvers so I'm gonna show the maneuvers in this video and I'm gonna explain the reasoning behind these maneuvers okay so what do you want to achieve by maneuvering around an enemy you want to be able to control the distance, the angle, and whether or not you want to continue engaging or disengage. And you want to be able to keep up with the enemy while you are avoiding their, their gunfire. And the maneuver that I'm going to show you is the kind of maneuver that will achieve all of those things. Alright, so when you're engaging an enemy, you want the enemy to be either on your upper left corner or the upper right corner of your ship. And you will see the reason why. And as you can see there, as I approach the enemy, I roll my ship to the left and by doing so, I'm able to engage the enemy while harnessing the power of my upward thrusters to go around the enemy and I can easily choose whether or not I want to chase the enemy or I want to a kind of orbit around the enemy by rolling and yawing around and it's it's much faster for most ships on space engineers to roll compared to their ability to yaw or to pitch so that's that's some of the reasons why you want to prioritize upward thrusters I mean you can prioritize uh, other directions but it's gonna make it harder for you to do this kind of maneuvers And as you can see there, I was able to orbit around the enemy easily while maintaining my preferred distance. And you will see that if I choose to disengage, I will be able to do that quickly. It's, but uh, before that, what you just saw over there was me rolling my ship to the right to change the direction of my orbit and also to change the 
side of my ship that is facing the enemy and this can be useful in a lot of situations especially if the enemy is also maneuvering so that was one of the things that you can do with uh, a kind of ship that has a lot of upward thrusters So those are basically the kind of maneuvers and the best way of engaging an enemy if you have a big combat ship that has a lot of upward thrusters because uh, it achieves all the things that you want to achieve by doing a combat maneuver. So yeah. Now I'm gonna show you some other maneuvers that are actually the best to apply when you're um fighting a static static grid but it can also be applied when you're fighting a an enemy that is moving in certain situations it's very circumstantial but uh, they are they are still useful sometimes so uh, 